Wow, we did it. Phase one has officially been completed, and we are here today to talk about the final movie in phase one, The Avengers. So this is the first movie in phase one in this watch through that I have already seen. With that being said, I have not seen it since it was in theaters. So I went into it like just remembering that I really enjoyed it the first time, Um, but I had forgotten a lot about it. And I have to say that uh, seeing it again in this context now after... um, all the time I've spent, oh, stay hydrated, all the time I've spent with these characters now and uh, all of that, it was a totally different experience. Um, Okay, so I want to kick off this video with like kind of the thing that sucks to talk about, but I feel like I have to. Uh, This movie was written and directed by Joss Whedon. I will link some articles below about why he's maybe not so great. Um, It sucks. (laughs) It just sucks. But I stand with the people who have spoken their truth about working with him. And um, yeah, it's annoying to have to talk about this movie in that context only because I I really loved this movie. But uh, I'm just going to talk about it in the context of the characters and the performances. And you know what? Like, that's kind of all I can say about it. But um so yeah whatever check out the links below he sucks okay so basically yeah but the 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 hard truth is i i loved i loved this movie it's actually the first movie in this watch through that i watched twice i watched it and then right before i made uh these pages i watched it again um i watched it again actually like while i was making the pages and Oof, yeah, I really, I just really liked it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it was like seeing them all together, the way that each of them is introduced in the movie. Um, some of the complexities that I don't think I really caught on to the first time that I definitely did now. Um, yeah, I really liked it a lot. Okay, so let's, it's like I, I can't even list the things that I liked about it because it was just like pretty much every, everything. If I think about like what I didn't like, um, I keep finding myself getting frustrated with Black Widow with Scarlett Johansson's character because she keeps like alluding to this like mysterious dark past, you know? And I just want to know what that is. Like I want to hear about <laughs> I want to hear about that. Like I hate that I don't know. That's frustrating. Um, but I know there's a Black Widow movie coming out, and I don't know if more of her story comes up in the movies I haven't seen yet, or if it'll all be in that Black Widow movie. Whatever. I'm very interested and excited to learn more about that character. Um, I yeah, I was also kind of frustrated that we didn't learn more about Agent Hill. Um, I always, every time I see her, I just think of uh, Robin from How I Met Your Mother, but it's Colby's, Colby Smolder, right? And um, I just thought she was cool, and like, I want to know more about her character. Um, so yeah, if it, and if anything, it was just that I wanted, wanted more from it all. But uh, yeah, so let's talk about some of the things besides just like, it's fun when they're funny together. Like, that's obvious, but... The other things that I really liked, well, here we are working on this Loki page, right? And yeah, there's something about that guy. I'm, I get it. I think I said this during my Thor uh, watch through, my my Thor pages, but like, yeah, I really get it. He's so interesting. And like, I feel like he's definitely like, quote unquote evil, I guess. But he's like, when he find when Thor shows up to try to, you know, take him back and all that. Um, when, when Thor first shows up and he says, come home and Loki's just like, it's too late or whatever, you know, it's like, it's too late. And that you can always, I feel like you can see so much in his eyes and in his performance that like, it's layered. I think one, if another thing that like was kind of frustrating in this movie was like how he went down so easily, it seemed like all of the times, like, you know, like when they go back and find him at the Avengers Tower again, it's like, 
kind of shocking that he wouldn't have tried to get out of there again. I don't know. But but I think my summation, and I don't know, you know, I, I don't really know what I'm talking about so much, but from what I have gathered is I feel like everything he does is on purpose. Um, so if he's going down, like obviously when he got captured and he wanted to be on that ship because he wanted to manipulate Bruce Banner and all that. So that's kind of where I if that was like, if it felt like a plot hole to me that they were able to nail him down so easily, I just considered it to be because he had bigger plans in mind every time. And I think that's probably, probably true. Um, but let's also, speaking of Bruce Banner, that's the next person that we'll be collaging. You'll see in a moment. Um, wow. Right. Like after seeing that first Hulk movie with Edward Norton and like, you know, really like I embraced it for what it was. And I think that there was a lot there. Um, I'll be adding text to this page, by the way, uh, and you'll see that in the final flip through. Um, Yeah, so that page is done, and now we're going to do the Bruce page. So, yeah, I mean, wow. I think Mark Ruffalo really gets this character in a way that it just, it, like, seriously moves me. I don't know, like, something about it just shot, like, makes me feel so, like, oof like shaken like but I love it I like from the minute that Natasha goes to find him and there's like some deception right off the back that the bat that she says she's there alone and then he's like oh alone huh and there's all the obviously all the shield people there but and then you know on the ship with the prison that Loki's in is like technically meant for him if anything were to go wrong and like how complex his character is that it's like like Tony said that the the big guy the other guy kind of saved his life in a way and uh and Bruce is just like that's really nice saved it for what and Tony's like well I guess we'll see that's just like oh gosh I love that I'm so I'm so into that that whole storyline and one of my favorite moments in the movie I think was when uh, he first, when Bruce first shows up and meets uh, Steve, meets Captain America, and and he's like, "Oh, I've I've heard a lot about you or whatever," and he's like, uh, "Is that all you heard?" And he's like, "It's the only thing I care about," and like just that little exchange shows you like everything you need to know about Bruce's insecurities and grief and like trauma and the pain that he's going through all the time, but it also shows you everything you need to know about Steve. Who's like, you know, you have this thing, but I don't care. You know, like I want to know about what you're going to bring to the table, you know, and it's, and I'm not going to judge you for what I saw on some surveillance video. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I was, yeah, I really loved that. What else did I like? I liked when Thora first showed up. I found, I was really shocked by like, after seeing the Thor standalone, I was so excited to see the lightning. I was like, oh, it's Thor. And I was like really excited. That like surprised me. Um, I had a whole page I did in here about the shield guys. Obviously, I did not remember that Coulson died. I was pissed. Um, I don't know if he's dead dead because I know Marvel has, you know, some of that stuff where it's like no one's ever really gone Star Wars. But you know what I mean? So like, but I was sad. Like I shouted when he <laughs> died because I did not remember that. And I was bummed out. Um, but I love his character. And Nick Fury. There was so much good Nick Fury content in this movie. It was like the way he's like this puppet master. But he means well. But it's so easy to question if he means well because of the way he's going about it. And I thought of like Hayward in WandaVision, if you're watching WandaVision and like the differences between that kind of power, you know, that Hey, or whatever, that kind of whatever it is that Hayward is seeking, which I guess we don't really know yet exactly, you know, versus like Nick Fury, who like, he might be doing like technically manipulating the Avengers, but it's for the common good in the end. Wow. I was super into that. Um, Can't wait to see what happens next with that and to see the rest, the other Avengers movies. I think I might have seen the second one, but I really don't have much memory of it. So, uh, so yeah, Avengers, wow. I, 
I just really enjoyed it. Um, I don't even know what else to, to really say. Oh, also, if you see on the right there, I used that post-credits shot as my phase one reflections page. Definitely my favorite post-credits scene. Just so stupid and funny and ridiculous, and I just loved it. Um, I'm adding text to that Bruce page, too. So anyway, let's get into it. Phase one, this is the full flip through of the beginning of our um, our journey and all of phase one so far. What I feel going into phase two is that I just want to know what's going to happen next. I want to see the, con- the stories continue to intertwine with each other. I want to continue to see the... Um, people like the characters meet each other in different combinations of them and I know that there's some crazy stuff ahead I really don't know much about like when I look at phase two I'm excited because I've I've seen a few of them but I think the ones that I haven't seen are like the big ones do you know what I mean so that is very uh very intriguing I'm really excited to see how the quote unquote like villains change too, because I already feel like I see some changes um, even just like so far. So that's that's interesting. I'm excited to see how like the Easter eggy uh, Stanley post credits goodness changes and stuff like that. Um yeah, it, I'm really excited. Here we are with Thor and Jane, and I'm really excited to see her again in Thor Dark World. I've not seen that movie, so that's uh, I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, I'm just uh, I'm impressed so far. I think that's what I would say is that I'm impressed that I'm as invested as I am. I didn't know if I would be. Um, yeah. Oh, here's the Avengers pages that you didn't see quite yet. Um, I did basically just two pages talking about all the things that I really loved and stuff like that. And then this is all about S.H.I.E.L.D. and uh, my thoughts on all that stuff I was saying with Nick Fury and everything on that page. And then there's Loki with his text and there's Bruce with the text on his page. Um, I think that turned out really cool. And then the phase one reflections. My current ranking puts Avengers at number one. And the Incredible Hulk at number six, but, uh, and here's phase two. This is what we're looking forward to. So Iron Man 3 is up next and I'm ready to go. I hope you come along for the ride and thanks for being here. Bye.